guys, I am here to do a wig comparison. Now, I have two Ryans by Paula Young. So this one I ordered back in 2012. So this is a six-year-old wig. I didn't wear it for a long time, but I have recently rediscovered it and really like it. And this one is in the color 2414. And it is a cool blonde mix with highlights. It's a cute shaggy um, cut. And I have clips in it all the way around. I have four clips. So I clip it in. I cut the, uh, the adjustable straps back here, but I didn't take any of the wig off. I just cut the straps to make it looser. And then I have a clip here, one here, and one on each side, one in the back. My usual. So I ordered the dance wig. I didn't like it on me. It looks so cute on Barb and Cindy, but it just, no, it just wasn't for me. Um, and so I exchanged it for another Ryan. So this is the 2018 model, and I got it in a different color. So the one I have on is the 2414, and the new one is the 1426, and the 1426 is much warm well not much warmer but it's warmer it has more golden blonde tones and less of the more ashy beige blonde i don't know that, that really maybe if i hold them this way there that's better you can see that better the difference and then here so this is the new ryan and it has, it's just the standard wig. I don't think it's a VersaFiber. I think it's the cool cap. So this is the cap construction. And it is nice and cool and lightweight. And there's the color right there, 1426A. The tag, I'm gonna take this off because I am going to keep it. Um, I just don't think I like the really short, you know, all over styles on me anymore. Although I used to wear my hair very short. So I exchanged, I sent dance back in, got this, got my credit for the price difference. So it went off with the hitch. Very nice, very well done, Polly Young. So actually I'm gonna go ahead and cut this tag off right now. There. Took it off because I'm keeping this one. Um, so these are the, the straps that I cut off. I just cut them off, you know, up here, the Velcro straps, because I don't need them because I secure the wig with the pressure clips. So I go ahead and take this tag off. That makes it a lot easier to show you guys when I get it on. I don't have clips sewn in this one yet, so I'm just gonna put it on, you know, just as a regular wig. But so the cool cap construction, I've been wearing this pretty consistently at least the last month, if not two months. And I really like it. And then here is my Claire. So I've been wearing this one too. This is the same color as this one. So, all right. And with the magic of video editing, I am going to be back. I decided not to put it on because I wanted to show you my hair. This is second day hair. This is my hair. I know people ask me about it. So I do have hair, but it's very thin and fine, as you can see here. And it continues to get worse. Lucky me, right? Oh, and here's the box. I didn't think I showed you the box for it. Uh, there you go. There's the style and the color if you're interested. And you know what? I didn't look to see what price it is. I think it's, mm, no, I don't really know what the price is, but you guys, if you're interested in this wig or any other wig companies, um, make sure you check out the internet for coupon codes and sales. Sign up for their emails. I signed up for Polly Young's emails and on Black Friday, I posted, I posted it on my Instagram. Instagram is the same name as my YouTube channel. 
um, I always post, you know, the, the deals when I get them in the mail. So here we go. So this one I haven't worn yet. I just took the tags off. Uh, let's see here. And I wear it off of my face. I don't wear the bangs. And when I put the clips in, I bring it back maybe about a half an inch off of my hairline so that you can see my natural part right there. It's easier when I have the clips. So anyway, this is the new one in the new color. It's shinier because it's brand new. And I know some people like my hair in front of my ears. That looks nice. It's a little flat up here, which is an issue with my Claire. So I don't know if it's because I part it on that side, you know, so there's less hair over here. But and I don't know what's going on with my lighting. It's so weird. I It's just really light. And it's, oh, there goes my knee. And it's the same lighting I have every time. The only difference is the outside lighting because now it's almost December, or when I upload this, it will be December 1st. And, uh, so, yeah. so this is the new one. I really like this. I like this style. And it's an old style, like I said, I ordered it in 2012 originally. And if you haven't seen any of my um, videos where I modify my wigs, this is what I do to the inside. So I'll show you here. So you can see here I removed that Velcro strap. It's gone. I cut it off on both sides. There's the back clip, the side, the front, and the side. And it keeps my wig secure. It's much more comfortable for me. And they look really natural. Now this doesn't have a root. That's a little bit of permatease if you don't like that. If you want a root, get a root spray. I have some from L'Oreal. I think they're in that cupboard. Uh, hang on a minute. I have to go over to this cupboard. This is where I have my hair stuck. So, these L'Oreal Magic Root Cover-Up. You can get these, they're about $10. You can get them at Walmart, Target, probably Walgreens, I'm guessing. So if you want more of a root, you just go and just shake it up and spray a little bit here. Use your fingers and spread it out if you want more of a root. And uh, so that is my review on Ryan. And I wanted to show you, I went to, Wal went to Target yesterday. Um, my friends and I, we met for lunch. And Afterwards, I stopped at Target because I love the Archer Farms candy cane coffee and I was running low. So I went, it was on sale and I got the last two boxes. So if you like peppermint coffee, oh, it's so good. I use heavy cream, a little bit of chocolate protein shake in my coffee. It's so good. But they had the Profusion, they had a bunch of Profusion palettes. So I got the Velvet Matte. I think it was $7, maybe it was $10. But it comes with this nice plastic guard that I left on. Here you go, you can see my reflection in there. All the information, um, some tips. And the number one ingredient is talc, second is mica, then kale and clay, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so that's, I use this today and it comes with a decent brush. These sets are really nice. This is the brush, you can see I used it. Really a nice brush. This is comparable to the ones that you get in um, the Naked palette, the Anastasia, and um, Profusion, is that upside down? Yep, Profusion. Um, in the name brand, the more expensive, palette so I'm gonna keep this plastic protective film on it's taped down I'm gonna leave it on so these are the colors and so today I used heavenly right up here all over in 
the lid and the crease. Then I deepened it with this and finished it off with this. But these are really nice colors and you have a lot of nice highlight and um, lid base colors. This fortune, oh, I haven't even swatched that. It's mustard yellow. How about that, you guys? These Perfusion palettes are affordable and they're good. I'm a drugstore makeup kind of gal. I do, um, oh, and then this is Madly. This one's a little, the texture isn't quite as smooth. This one here in the middle is Madly. And then here is a Blaze. And these are the ones that I use today. Look at those colors, you guys. For a palette this price at Target, yes please. I don't need any more palettes, my God. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, but it's a weakness. Um, eyeshadows and art supplies, <laughs> those are my weaknesses. So that was an impulse buy. I saw the display and I bought it, but look at the pretty, this would be such a nice gift. Even somebody who is a seasoned uh, makeup wearer, Look at the glitter along there. And they had different varieties, but this was the one that I really liked. The other ones had a lot of um, shimmer to them. I prefer the matte uh, shadows. And this one contains 21 eyeshadows and the brush. And the brush is really decent. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. Happy December. I hope you guys are doing well. I haven't been on YouTube that much. I've been binge watching all of the British Baking Championship shows on Netflix. They're so much fun, they're so funny. The Brits have wonderful, a wonderful sense of humor and I really have been enjoying watching that. And we're watching Sabrina on Netflix too. So if you like dark, spooky kind of shows, you might wanna check that one out. So, all right guys, I will just see you next time and have a wonderful weekend. Love you, bye.